what's up you guys i hope you're all doing well i'm so excited for today's video we are doing a living room slash home update and i'm gonna take you guys through and show you everything we've done so far as well as apply some finishing touches and i do want to say that this video is in collaboration with desenio desenio is a scandinavian artwork company designed to help make your home more beautiful and i am so so honored to partner with them i cannot wait to show you guys the frames and the posters that i got and since may is mental health awareness month they are giving me a discount code for you guys to use so you guys can buy your own posters that make you feel happy or inspired or enlightened or whatever you guys want so yeah definitely stay tuned for the code I am just finishing up my makeup and then we are about to go into the living room so I can show you everything that I've been working on. Yay, we're in the living room. I can't wait to give you guys like a mini little tour. Okay, so I'm gonna start with this little nook over in this corner and I'm going to link everything down below that I can find. But we did get this dresser from World Market. They were having a huge sale because all of the stores were unfortunately going out of business. But we also got a matching mirror with that as well. I'm pretty sure this is still online though and it's in great shape. But it has kind of this really nice rustic color which we love and we think it really matches both of our aesthetics. Kind of like meeting each other in the middle because it's not like too girly, too boyish or whatever. So I just kind of set this book right here. I thought it looked aesthetically pleasing with this diffuser. And then Blaine put his iPad here that he just recently got. It's the new iPad Pro and he's like obsessed with it. We're gonna get a little like iHome for it to keep here. And then I just set some magazines here with like this little disc tray. So anyways, moving on to the corner right here. Oh, by the way, this lamp is from Ikea. He got it a couple of years ago, so I'm gonna try to find it and link it below. Then we have this little closet right here. I actually got these hooks from Five Below. They were super, super cheap. I think they're like three or five dollars. So moving on to this little area. Right now we have this vintage table that his grandparents passed down to him and I love it. Anyways, the couch is from Amazon, believe it or not, and it actually pulls out into a futon, which is amazing. I loved it. If you guys haven't watched my Amazon favorites video, definitely go do that. I will also link it below. This pillow is Tommy Hilfiger and I really, really love it. Like the texture and everything. It comes with like the actual feather pillow and the cover. These pillows are from, these are from Target. Moving on to this table, I'm really in love with it. It's from World Market and Blaine just had it for a few years now. Um, the rug is also from Target. I like it for now. I kind of got it in the beginning just to see what it would look like. It kind of like tied the place together. And then my favorite part of the living room right now is this gorgeous, gorgeous plant. I love it. We've been trying to keep it alive as long as we can. There's some new growth on it, so I'm really excited about it. But it's also like kind of like rotting a little bit and the leaves are falling off, but then like new growth is coming as well. So I'm not sure if that's normal or not. For all of you plant moms out there, let me know because we're really trying our best here. The pot is from World Market as well. We got it on such a steal. I think it was like 30 or 20 bucks on sale. So I'm definitely gonna try to find that as well. I just got this shelf from Ikea. They're super easy to install. All you have to do is just screw those in and then put this on top. You can screw that in as well. And then the frame as well as this artwork is from Ikea. And then all of these are just little pieces like his books that he has here and the old Polaroid camera. And I just kind of like set the rest of this decor right here, we're not really sure what to do with this part of the living room. It's just his golf clubs. So yeah, and then the matching table is right there. Like I said, we're still kind of figuring out that part of the living room. The lamp is from Ikea. And then we have our TV that is from Best Buy, obviously some family photos fireplace. And then for the most exciting part, we have our Desenio frames and posters. This is a little sneak peek that I can't wait to show you guys. So the last thing that we're gonna do is put 
all of our Decenio posters right here into this lovely spot above the couch. So I'm so excited to finally have it figured out and have it put together and everything. But before we do all that, let's rewind to when the frames got here because that's really exciting. And then um, I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna set it up tonight. I'm gonna start by like unwrapping everything. <laughs> they actually have videos online for how to take care of everything and like pull it apart and stuff. I really wanna start with this frame because this is one of my favorite, favorite photos from New York and it's just become really popular. It's just a building in Soho and the fire escapes there are beautiful and I always love taking photos of them or just taking pictures in front of them whenever I'm there. I think the architecture is so beautiful. And this just makes me feel so good and inspired and just excitement for when I do visit the city again. But yeah, this one I got a white frame for so I'm just gonna unpackage it. It's kinda hard. <laughs> But this is their website. Look how beautiful layout, beautiful paintings. I actually just went to like the gallery like section of the website just to get some inspiration. They have such good inspiration, you guys. Okay, this one's simple. Put this in. Cute! Oh my god. This is so cute, you guys! Uh, look how pretty! It also came with this so I could literally, we could literally just put it like on our cabinet that we have in the living room. Okay, so this next one, I feel like I'm like doing show and tell or something. This one has like different thingies. So I'm gonna look up a video on how to do that. But this is the poster, I'm so excited but I feel like this really represented both of us. I'm not really sure exactly what this painting means, but to me, it really symbolizes and represents freedom. I just think that the sun and the moon are obviously what makes the universe go round, and it's just something to, to think beyond like the norm, like what's beyond space, like what's beyond this universe. Am I making any sense to you guys? I mean, I just, I love it. And then you have like a little abstract face. Just love it, you know? Update. We decided we're gonna leave the mirror up because it actually looks really good with the collage But we're gonna paint it white because I hate the color of it But we're starting on hanging everything now Guys, we are hanging the last painting up and then I'm gonna show you guys the final results. Yeah, the, oh, I'm sorry. The final results tomorrow when there's good natural light and we have everything back together. So, see you guys then. Hey, what's up guys? So it is a few days later and it's because I was waiting for the final piece to come in for this final painting. So I'm going to put it on, I'm gonna hang it back up, and then I'm gonna show you guys the final result. I'm so excited, okay. I don't know if you guys have seen the TikTok trend that's like from the Hannah Montana series, and it's like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> no, is it just me? Okay, well, it's been stuck in my head, literally, like for forever. Okay, we're about to get this thing out. Ta-da! Here's the final border. Oh, it's gonna be perfect. Okay. Sorry, my to-go food is in the background. I like to eat. What is wrong with me? Okay. This can go like a little up. 
there. Yay! I'm pretty sure this was like this. Okay guys, I finally am finished putting the painting, the artwork together. So I'm gonna try and hang this up without freaking it up. Wow, that was easy peasy lemon squeezy on the first try. Yay, I finally did it, you guys. So eventually I'm gonna paint the mirror white. I'm just not gonna do it in this video because I haven't bought paint or anything like that, but I'll keep you guys updated in my vlogs and stuff, so make sure to subscribe, but I'm gonna tidy up the living room a little bit and then show you guys the final result. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed my living room update. I am so excited to give you guys a discount code in honor for Mental Health Awareness Month. Decenio has given you guys a 30% off code to use. I will put it on the screen right here. It is Empower30 for 30% off any prints on their site. This code is not eligible for frames or I believe handmade paintings, but most of the paintings and prints on their website are eligible. So you guys should definitely go check them out. Like I said, they're very, very affordable and they could really spice up your space, make it look very chic. I'm still going to be changing a few things around, so I will definitely keep you guys updated on that, but I'm super grateful that they sent those over. And I also wanted to talk about how these paintings make me feel and the reason why I chose them, and that is because they inspire me a lot. I chose the New York City one because I love thinking of the times that I was in New York, hanging out with friends, going to the waterfront, the Brooklyn Bridge. It was just so much fun and in times like these, I just really look forward to going back and um, just reminiscing. The painting of the woman I love, Blaine and I love very much just because women are fucking bosses, I mean honestly, and so I... I just really love it. I feel like we needed kind of like a femininity vibe in our space. The sun and moon one Blaine actually picked out and I really liked it as well. And it just kind of reminds me to be more free spirited and just kind of think beyond what is. And then the biggest painting right here, Honestly, we thought it just really matched our living room aesthetic. There's a little bit of browns, some neutrals, some whites, some blacks in there, and it was just very abstract and we're very much into that. But yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much to Senio for collaborating with me on this video and sending over these prints. I will have everything in my living room linked down below or as much as I can find. And I hope that it inspired you to redo your space or update it or whatever you guys are feeling, or even if not, then thank you for sticking around. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.